What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. I am rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer transfer window for you guys to enjoy. So if you haven't already, do make sure you have subscribed to my channel where I'm going to keep you up to date first and fast on YouTube with the latest Manchester City transfer news every single day this summer. Also don't forget as well, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video 500 likes is the aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated and also most importantly let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers without further ado let's crack on with this video and we've got no updates on left back, so that means we've got no updates on the ins as of yet. Things are being dominated by Bernardo Silva. I've got some big news with regards to that. But we're going to start off first by speaking about Keiki, who we spoke about in yesterday's transfer update. And he has uh, travelled to Portugal. That's been confirmed by Fabricio Romano over on Twitter. And he has said that Keiki is in Portugal uh, and has had some medical tests done ahead of a low move to Parco de Fiera over in Portugal. I am expecting that transfer to be announced probably by the end of this week. So it does look like Keiki is going to be heading out on loan. The fact that he's in Portugal, more but confirms that that transfer will be happening. Now, moving on to the final story, and we've had big developments over the last 24 hours on Bernardo Silva. So strap yourselves in. Gerard Romero in Barcelona. I've dealt with him before. Um, I find some of his stuff very reliable with what he's saying. And at other times it comes out with complete rubbish and I fail to see how he's got over 750,000 followers on Twitter it baffles me because he's basically he's told by Barcelona to report on stuff and then put stuff out there and uh, it's to put pressure onto players onto their agents onto the club that they play for and that's how Barcelona manage their media when it comes to social media it's very very strange and I do find that uh, Gerard, um, Gerard Romero is one of the worst for this when it comes to Twitter and having a look at their sources because like I said he's told information he reports on that information and the information that he reports on does tend to be accurate but it's just reporting what Barcelona wants him to report and he literally just reports anything that they want to say and Barcelona want to look good so the report on stuff that wants to look good and what looks good to Barcelona and their fans right now is them going after Bernardo Silva is them agreeing to join Barcelona is them signing contracts for Barcelona when it's just a big massive stretch that has not happened. So what's been reported today is Man City are looking for 80 million euros. We were re reporting on that yesterday. That's yesterday's news. We know that's 65 point, uh, 67.5 million pounds. However, he's reported today saying that Barcelona have agreed a fee with Manchester City. A deal is agreed for a fee of between 50 and 55 million euros. That's less than 50 million pounds which is just not true now there's literally been foam coming from Manchester City's fans mouths today at the news of this and what I've read between the lines I've dealt with these sources before so I know what to expect and for the last two weeks or so when I've been speaking about Bernardo Silva, the large majority of comments that I get are very supportive and very nice. Some people like to uh, comment and put, I don't know what I'm talking about, where have you heard all this? This is absolute rubbish. It's not absolute rubbish. It's out there. I read between the lines. And that's exactly what I've been saying for the last two weeks. Barcelona are going to put Manchester City under massive pressure and how are they going to do that without speaking to Manchester City and that is through the media and Barcelona 
They like to use the media as puppets. They like to dictate it because they regard themselves as the elite, prestigious club, not just in Spain, not just in Europe, but around the world. And they think that they can bully and pick any player that they want and they can prize them away. Real Madrid have that same mentality as well. And that's their mentality and tactic that they're going to use from now right up until transfer deadline day to try and make Barcelona happen. Uh, well, try and make this transfer happen. And what I'm reading here is Man City wants £67.5 million for Bernardo Silva. That's at the very least. I reckon that's the fee we're looking at if it's a flat fee. No money no add-ons are straight up near 70 million pounds put it into your bank there you go that's not going to happen and because of that I think Man City are going to increase their price because Barcelona are going to be looking for installments I think you're going to be looking at probably over 80 million pounds to make this transfer happen which Man City might be happy with from a City fan's perspective I'm not happy because I value Bernardo Silva at much much more I value him at more than 100 million pounds I value more than what uh, we signed Jack Grealish for last summer and that was a hundred million pounds I value Bernardo Silva at more he's got three years left on his Manchester City contract we don't need to sell we're not under pressure to sell so if Barcelona wants him we need to get make that message very clear and say cough up now we could play Barcelona at their own tactics here report through our media and say we're not going to accept anything over uh, under 120 million pounds for example but that's not how Man City uh, deal with the media that's not how we deal with transfers but it's exactly how Barcelona deal with theirs and what I've read between the lines here is Man City have got one price 80 million euros Barcelona have got another and that's what I found this article very interesting that's what I found very interesting today is 50 to 55 million euros is what Barcelona can afford and what they're willing to pay to sign Bernardo Silva and that just isn't going to cut it less than 50 million pounds isn't enough to sign Bernardo Silva it's not even enough to buy not his strongest left foot to me it's not even enough to buy his weaker right foot that is a, a ridiculous amount, absolutely ridiculous amount. And if Barcelona come in with a bid, I'd do exactly what Brighton did to us with Kukure when we put in that £30 million bid, which is laugh. Laugh at that, you know, I wouldn't even dignify it with a response because it's not going to happen. Now, I'm very thankful to report that several sources close to Manchester City, Jonathan Smith, the correspondent at goal for Manchester City, has said that no fee has been agreed. It's nonsense that it has been agreed. Simon Stone, reliable at BBC has also said it's complete nonsense and more reliability is put uh, on this from the Manchester Evening News and said no deal has been agreed between Manchester City and Barcelona for Bernardo Silva. No bid has been received from Manchester City from Barcelona for Bernardo Silva. Man City want a big fee and they would also need to have a replacement lined up before he was to be sanctioned to be sold by Manchester City by the end of this summer. Time is running out. Barcelona got well less than a month left here of the transfer window to try and make this transfer happen. So, do I think it's going to happen? My honest answer, no. I don't think it's going to happen. I just I just don't think it makes any sense whatsoever other than from a Barcelona perspective. And unfortunately, the world doesn't revolve around Barcelona. And I think Man City need to, in this strategy, when that bid eventually does come in, need to make that very, very clear. But what I will say is, when dealing with this transfer, if you don't over react when you see pieces of information come out have a look at where that information has come from and with this Bernardo Silva transfer Barcelona are going to try this tactic now all summer of reporting this false fake news what we need to do is very crystal clear just listen to the sources at Manchester City and they'll tell you exactly what's happening with this transfer because Barcelona might be saying we've agreed this Man City they haven't agreed nothing is agreed and nothing is closed no bid has come in and so it is just false fake rumours I'm going to once again reiterate I don't understand how this source has over 750,000 followers on social media I'm sure Barcelona fans will comment and say because he's reliable but he's just reporting on what the club want. That isn't reliability. That's just Barcelona's word out there in public. No deal has been agreed. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. 500 likes is the aim, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to let me know your thoughts on what you make of these transfers in the comments below, including that ridiculous uh, apparent offer 
from Barcelona. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel as well if you're new around here. Daily Manchester City transfer content coming for you guys throughout the rest of the summer transfer window. I know you want to stay up to date with Man City's pursuit of a left back and all the latest with Bernardo Silva. So make sure you have subscribed with your bell pressed to put your push notifications on so you can stay up to date first and fast every single day with the latest Manchester City transfer news on my channel. Aiming for 27k subscribers, now less than 100 subs away. So hopefully we can hit that in the next 24 hours or so. That would be brilliant. And also don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and I'll see you all again religiously tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.